Media. I'm Steve Ludwig, also known as Mr. Insurance. Today, I'm going to talk to you about moving your SR-22 out of state and just everything that you're going to need to know that goes together with that. So today, we will discuss the topic again of moving your SR-22 out of state and how everything works. Now, in most cases, you'll need to maintain an SR-22 filing in your old state, even after you've moved to the new state. Typically, a first offender will have to keep his or her SR-22 filing in effect for three years from the date of the offense. So before you move, you need to line up the insurance in the state that you're moving to. Your current carrier may be able to simply transfer your policy to a new state and just retransmit the SR-22. So don't cancel your existing SR-22 insurance in your old state until after you have your new insurance in place and the SR-22 filed in the new state. Actually, it's a good idea to let them overlap by a week or so, so just to make sure. If your new state requires more liability insurance than your old in state, such as bodily injury, property damage, and so forth, you'll need to purchase the additional coverage. If your new state has lower insurance requirement than your old state, you'll need to make sure that you need to keep the higher limits in force for the remainder of your SR-22 requirement. Now, don't worry. You need the additional coverage. The state minimum insurance requirements are all too far low to provide adequate protection either for you or for the other drivers and pedestrians on the road with you anyways. Your carrier will keep the SR-22 on file in your old state and only notify uh, them of your SR-22. In many cases, your current insurance carrier won't be able to transfer your SR-22 to a new state. You'll need to switch companies. If you switch, your new carrier will need to file the SR-22 form with both states. That is, they will need to do what is called a cross-filing SR-22 filing with both your old state and your new state. This means your agent needs to be licensed in both states, kind of like what myself and my company are. If you move to one of the eight states that doesn't have an SR-22 requirement, they'll still require that you affirm in writing that you're keeping the SR-22 current in your old state, so you can't escape the requirements by moving out of state. Um, and as of late 2022, the states that don't have an SR-22 requirement are Delaware, Kentucky, Minnesota, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Oklahoma, and Pennsylvania. Whatever the case, you should shop around multiple insurance companies before signing on with one. The SR-22 insurance is a specialized market and pricing varies radically between companies. Some carriers don't want that high risk or the SR-22 drivers on their books at all. Other carriers compete aggressively for certain high risk drivers that's exactly what Select Insurance Group and myself go find for you, and we shop through multiple carriers to get you that. Your pricing can also vary due to the kind of car that you drive, your credit history, your age, marital status, education, occupation, profession, and whether you own or rent a home. Special note, for Florida and Virginia residents, Florida and Virginia are unusual in that they have an FR44 requirement, not just an SR22. They are very similar, except for the SR-22 is a lower requirement. So obviously the FR-44 requirement means you have to buy extra liability insurance to keep your license in force. In addition to that, in the state of Florida, you also have to pay that six months in advance in most cases. So when Florida and Virginia residents move out of state, they generally ask us, well, what do they have to do to get their FR-44 transferred to a new state? Unfortunately, guys, you just can't. You'll need to keep your FR44 insurance current in Florida or Virginia until your requirement expires, typically three years after your offense. You, you can, however, buy a new standard non-SR22 policy in your new state, but your driver's record will probably follow you to your new state. So you may wind up having to pay for two separate car insurance policies in different states because of your FR44. Again, don't let your coverage lapse. If that means your state, that will mean that your state will notify the National Driver Register Database, or NDR. They'll suspend your license. All other states will block you from getting a new driver's license, and it just won't be a good thing. So when you're dealing with something like this, guys, you want to be able to work with somebody that has the experience and the knowledge and know-how and the capabilities to be able to get this done for you. This is not something you want to play around with. 
This has to do with your driving record uh, and, and basically the ability for you to uh, continue to keep having a motor vehicle license and operate a vehicle. So again, it's nothing you want to screw around with. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or whatever, leave those below. If you would like to contact my office and speak with one of my agents across the country, you can call 855-GET-SELECT. That's 855-438-7353. We look forward to helping you and we wish you the best out there, guys. Take care, be safe.